let's uh, do some flower centers on these big flowers. Uh, they're started out with my Prussian blue, very thin, so we get a soft color in the center. And you can see where our resist is, our, uh, our masking. But we're going to come back and deepen these up. I'm going to use pretty thick paint right now. I'm going to put in a few little dots. Gotta get up on the tip of your brush in order to get some nice dots. And I'm going to be coming over to this one. some dark, maybe not quite as dark. I'll put a little bit of water in my brush. And I'll put some darks around this one, flower center as well. That one got a little bit darker than I wanted. So we'll just soften it out with a little water. Okay, we're going to go back up to our purple flowers here, and I'm going to take some pretty rich paint. There's not a lot of not a lot of water in, just a little bit, and I'm going to start out by shadowing around these two flowers. Now this is way too dark, so as soon as I get the color in, I'm going to take a water brush and I'm going to soften this. And this is where you can kind of play with it a little bit. The dabs were pretty strong, so I added a little water here. I think that makes it look nice when you just add little bits of water. Okay, around that flower, I have a naphtha red light, maybe a little yellow in a flower at the top here, just a little daisy. Can we add a little more my Prussian up here? And some more dark pressure over on this side. And a little water in my brush. And I'll just soften this. Water in the 
brush on this side. When this dries, if you need an, any other detail, you can always go back and put details in, but I, I'm going to leave these kind of quiet. These in here, they're not real outspoken. detail in the front one here. Just shading this back a little bit more. Over on this yellow one here, I'm going to mix the red, Napthol Red Light, some yellow, get a nice orange. I'm going to put a few good orange, darker spots near the center on that one. Now with that same color, and also up in this little daisy here, didn't get much color. Any of these oranges that got a little bit thinned, I can perk them up a little bit. I'm going to take this orangey mix, water it down, and I'm going to go into my vase over here. Just a little bit of a, an orange glow, a little glow from the flowers, and that'll lighten as it dries. I'm going to also take a little bit of my purple mixture or diox if you have it, a little bit of burn umber because it's a little bit bright. And I'm going to put a nice purple touch in there, water brush, and I'll soften it. I have to soften this one quickly because it, it is a bit of a staining color. A little bit of my masking still on here. There we go. And I'm going to shadow under my vase with my burnt umber, a little bit of pine green, and a little bit of Prussian. It's kind of going to give me a gray, a gray color so that I can go up under here. Gray green it looks like. And it's going to be a shadow on the vase. Now I like to leave a little bit of white on the edge. Now that'll probably dry back pretty light. So I'll probably end up going into that a couple of times. A little more pressure down in here, bottom of the vase. Water brush, soften it a little bit. Up in here, it's going to be causing a shadow because there's leaves here, so I'm going to go in with that gray mix over on this side as well. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, our rose is pretty dry. I'm gonna let that vase dry before we do any more to it. Uh, our rose is pretty dry. So I think we can remove the masking on that. Now the masking keeps it, keeps the white areas white. But we're gonna take some of this blue-gray mix that we have here on our palette that we just used down here for the vase. And I think I'm gonna add a little purple to it. And I'm gonna shadow some areas in the rose. Laying the color in. And with a water brush, I'll just soften them a little bit. Just graying it down a little bit. Got to keep some of those whites, though, because it is supposed to have white edges. And I'm going to take a little bit of my red violet, and I'm going to add some reddish tints in here. shadow where the flower meets the other flower. A little bit darker in that center. Put a little bit of alizarin over in this bottom edge of this center. A little bit in here, just to make sure that lizard's carried around a little bit into the uh, red violet, excuse me, is carried into other areas. A little bit of red violet put up in that little tiny flower up here. Maybe a touch down in the bottom of my vase. Okay, just make sure when you're looking at your leaves, that you have these nice PowerPoint darks. If you don't, make sure you go back in and add some extra dark. You need those PowerPoints into your leaves. It's Sometimes it's just a smidge, but it's just enough to really illuminate this area here. Okay, I think I have to go back into my hydrangea again. That's dried now. So using some Prussian, a little bit of water, because we're not going to be that dark. And we're going to reestablish. This is where you can make it almost look like a petal. Some clusters. <laughs> Be careful you don't cover all the values. We've got a dark, we've got a medium, and we also have that turquoise color in there. So we don't want to lose all of those. And up in this one, we need to have some good darks as well. This one's way over on the side of the painting, so we're going to darken this here. Okay, with just a little bit of the blue, I'm going to shadow into my vase a little. Little touch. 
touch of torque in here. Just evaluating to see where I need my darks. Any areas that I didn't get enough. Sometimes it's just a little tiny, tiny touch. And that would mean just a little bit. on that one. And a little bit of purple down here to suggest something. We're not making that one very distinct. It's kind of the guess, but it's something down there. This fades. I want that to be a little bit important there. And we can also put a shadow underneath our vase. Going off the page. Often this up. Red tin in there, make it interesting. <laughs> okay, all right. I think uh, we have to let this dry a little bit. We'll remove our masking and we'll finish up the details. So let that dry a minute and I'll be right back. 